Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Um, been a long time I saw this movie and also a glimpse of it um, a few years back. And um, this movie is called Skeleton Man, also from 2004. Kind of fun, I review a movie from 2004 just now called Parasite. For 2004, because there's a lot of movies called Parasite, so give me the year. When you check it, before you check this review, I'm sure you check the other one out. Parasite with the year and the director, a little bit more explanation. And you can check the icon picture out, see how the movie poster look. So this was called Skeleton Man. I, I said I wasn't going to review this because I, I think I did review this. Or something, because I was reviewing Snake Man, Shark Man, some kind of other man. It was another one. Anyway. So Skeleton Man. Man, I'm shocked how fun this movie is, though. I don't know him. This is like a straight slasher killer. Out in the open, it's pretty much a predator ripoff. Also, about this guy in a skeleton mask, he's supernatural, killing people with axe, spears, knife, and he's just constant killing with this guy, man, in a skull mask costume. And it's not. They say it was human. Of course, it's supernatural. It had like the headless horseman style to it, but with the head instead, riding the horse, killing people like blood and gore flying around, and. The movie just begins with an archaeologist killing people. Then the skeleton man end up going killing people in the power plant, killing a bunch of military soldiers. And then later on, you get this military team run by Michael Roker, um, trying to find out what's going on. Skeleton man start killing everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous, bro. The action, the campiness, the fun. The, it's just an enjoyable movie. And you got Casper Van Dien in it in the side role. You got another guy I recognize, Jerry Trimble Jr. You may recognize him in this movie he was with, that he fought Jet Lee. He played like the main villain. I forgot the name of the movie too. But if you know Jerry Trimble Jr., Google it. He'd been in like a lot of martial arts movies during the 90s. So he'd been around. So he's in it also. The Skeleton Man is taking, taking out everybody, bro. And you get the climax finale with Michael Loke at the end. He has to battle the Skeleton Man. Um, this is a fun movie, pretty much. I really enjoyed it, <laughs> you know. The death scenes are good, you know. It's just meant to be stupid of the death scenes, the other way it was set up, the delivery. Um, yeah, Skeleton Men, highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. Peace out and see you later, guys and gals.